My name's Hannah. Hi, I'm Dana Blow. I am Craig Pulsifer. I'm Zach Eiler, and I'm an HRC intern. And I'm an HRC intern. My name is Ray, and I'm an HRC intern. I work with the Workplace Project, which rates Fortune 1000 companies every year on their quality and benefits that they provide to their LGBT um, employees. I work in the Membership Outreach Department, which coordinates events with all our communities across the country and tries to reach out to members and acquire members. Well, I guess the three initiatives that I work on are the Healthcare Quality Index, Welcoming Schools, and All Children, All Families. Usually day to day, I do different projects, a lot of data entry, a lot of research. We've been planning logistics for the Pride events um, and making sure all the staff have the paperwork and all that jazz that they need. So I work in the field department at HRC and on a day-to-day -day basis we work to manage all the ballot initiative campaigns going on around the country and all of our grassroots and advocacy work. In terms of why I wanted to go to the HRC, um, I mean, I think this is a really important issue and it's a really historic sort of time for the issue. Um, I, you know, I, I view this as sort of a civil rights issue, but you know, with President Obama coming out in favor of gay marriage, with all just sort of the public focus on this issue and the enormous progress being made, it just seemed like a really exciting place to be and a really important and historic place to be. I have a lot of LGBT friends and family, and it's something that I really took for granted being from the D.C. area, how open and accepting everyone is. I wanted to see how we try to get other people to support the cause as well. Oh, this is the human rights campaign. I'm going to do it <laughs> like I have to. Uh, so far at the HRC, uh, I've learned a lot about uh, LGBT rights. Uh, I kind of came in not really knowing too much about it. This is the first time that I've had a, a job where I'm working kind of by myself, um, doing like huge projects. I've learned how a nonprofit field campaign works. Especially working on the Marylanders for Marriage campaign, um, I've gotten to go out into the field and also been in the meetings planning strategy and it's been great to learn uh, what exactly goes into running a ballot campaign. We're working with religious groups and that's been really beneficial to be on the ground and just see how a campaign works. Even though I work in a very specific area, I'm learning about all kinds of different areas within the, a nonprofit. I've learned um, a lot more about the LGBT community, um, particularly when it comes to transgender issues. Um, where I'm from, there's not a lot of diversity even within the LGBT community, and I've been able to learn a lot more. I'm in an oversized cubicle with five other people. It's three of the interns for membership outreach, uh, the interns for a federal club, and for gala events. We get along really well. It's definitely a respectful and open environment, but we also have a lot of fun. And it's just collaboratively working with the six other interns that are in um, my kind of department. And uh, it's good to hear about like what they do also in like the same kind of field as us. And obviously they're always like ready to help when one of us has um, free time. I really love the atmosphere at HRC. Everyone's like really friendly like all the time and everyone just is super on top of things and productive and I didn't know that all of those could like happen in a professional setting. It's like being in a gay version of the Brady Bunch and I kind of love it and I don't want to leave. Uh, it's, it's really relaxed here as an organization. I was a little bit worried because I, the Human Rights Campaign is so famous, I was afraid that it would just be a bunch of people in suits being stuffy. Everyone's super nice and you get to talk to everybody and interact with people throughout the day from different departments, but at the same time people are constantly working because we all have the same goal. People are working really hard all the time, but it's still kind of a space where people let you be yourself and be really creative. It's just the most positive place in the whole world. I'm so happy. Every time I talk about it to people, I'm just like, it's the happiest place on earth. It's probably all the rainbow colors. 
Interning in Washington, D.C. is actually a lot of fun. Um, I've enjoyed it so far. The metro transportation is really easy to work with and it's very simple. There's so many nonprofits and other organizations in D.C. and they have a lot of really fun activities going on. There's so much to do in the city. There's plenty of sights to see from the National Mall to the Smithsonian Museums. I mean, obviously it's just like the place to be. The other interns that I work with are amazing. They come from all over the country and so it's great to get to know people that I wouldn't have met otherwise. They have a lot of different personalities and it's so awesome to be with so many LGBT people and allies as well. And I like to hang out with my friends and I like to explore DC a lot and ride the metro. I've been trying to enjoy DC as much as I can while I'm here so we've kind of watch the monuments together, and get to hang out a lot. I have a DC bucket list, which consists of museums and restaurants and other fun places to go. All the other interns pretty much, you know, I can talk to and have really in-depth and uh, stimulating conversations with because they're all very smart people who care a lot about what we're doing. Hi, my name's Clement Bauer. I'm Janetta Mulkey-Hill. I'm Alyssa McNeil and I'm an HRC intern.